we don't need to cause more trauma, and unfortunately we've done that, you know, through the ways that we've handled cases. Our role is to assist in healing and to facilitate successful prosecution of sex offenders. Sexual assault is still one of the most underreported crimes. Approximately 63% of adult sexual assaults are not reported to law enforcement. And I, I, think, I think the recent Weinstein verdict, I, I really believe it's a turning point in how, in how juries are responding to sexual assault. They understand more what sexual assault is. It's not what it was 25 years ago with the stranger coming out of the bushes with the ski mask. They no longer believe that, which is a good thing. And it will encourage more victims to report thinking, maybe they will believe me. And maybe I can find some justice. That's, that's what this is about. You have been national leaders always, and you have not gone from B team to A team. You've just taken A team up a new level. And you do that over and over, and it makes me very, very proud. The result is best practices that could go nationally that de were developed right here in Rhode Island. That's the quality of the work that we, that you, uh, have done. So I'm immensely proud. We intend to take those lessons down to Washington. But what's really important is that when we come to these most significant cases, these cases that matter the most to victims, that matter the most to Rhode Islanders, that we have a set of, of values, of guiding principles, of best practices that ensure two things. Number one, that the victim uh, has somebody in their corner and understands to the extent that we can their perspective and helps them on this path forward to prosecution if that's what the victim believes is best um, and not if the victim believes that is best and at the same time building a case the best case possible to achieve justice for that victim and I believe that's what these protocols do. 